guys, welcome to My So Bliss. Today I'm super excited to be partnering up with Baby Lock Sewing Machines and bringing you another sewing tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a stretchy square neck top. It's super cute, this pattern was just released and it's a really great price and I just love this company and their patterns so and I guarantee it's a really good one. I was able to test for them um, so I've been able to try out a few of them and it's been really really fun. Today I'm going to be using knit fabric like I said and that's fabric that's stretchy, it's gonna fit really comfy. I love wearing just a stretchy comfy top and jeans like my go-to outfit so I'm excited to make a couple of these and I'm gonna be using my baby lock vibrant which is this machine right here it is a serger it is the basic serger in baby locks genuine collection so I'm excited to show it off to you guys I'll leave links down below for the serger and other tutorials that I have done with this exact serger and then I'll also leave a link down below for this pattern. So make sure to check out all of those links. Like I said, they'll be down below in the description. So after you have printed out your pattern and cut your fabric out, we are ready to get started on our shirt. For our first step, we're gonna get our square neck center front neck piece, which is, we only need one of them. I accidentally cut two of them. That's what happens when I cut my fabric on the fold. But I'm just gonna take one of them or the one piece and fold it in half lengthwise, kind of like a hot dog. If you need to, you, you can iron this with this fabric. It sticks really well, like you can see just from finger pressing it. So that's totally good. We'll leave it like that. And then we're gonna take our center front piece and make sure this is all for the square neck. They also have a sweetheart neckline. Make sure you're using the right pieces. So this one, I am doing the full bust one, but I'm doing full bust um, square neck. So make sure you get the right pieces for what you wanna make. And then I just line up the edges like this. And then like this, and I can take it over to the serger to serge this on. And I just lined up the raw edges, right sides together so that that can flip up. So over here at the serger, I have this little sliding piece, this metal piece right here. I have it um, set to our seam allowance. And then I'm going to line those raw edges up right here. So that just is like a guide for me, just makes it so much easier as I sew to not have to like consciously think about where I'm lining up. I can just butt it up right against this metal piece. It's really nice. And so as I serge it, I'm gonna stretch the neck band, not this front center piece, just the neck band. And then now that I have that sewn, I'm going to take it over to my ironing board and just give that a light iron so that the seam allowance comes down and that just lays flat. Now that I have that center front panel ready to go, I'm gonna set this off to the side and grab my side pieces. You should have two mirror, image of, mirror images of each other. So I have, that's my left piece right piece or left and right piece and then I have my center back piece which is this piece right here I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna lay my shoulder seams right sides together so here I have these are my shoulder seams for the front these are my shoulder seams right here for the back so like I said right sides together And those should match up perfectly. So we can serge those together. So once you have those shoulder seams complete, you can open it up. Here's my back piece right here. And then here are my two side pieces coming out just like this. Um, and then you can see if you wanna find them, the little notches that are right here. It's kind of like a little T on the pattern piece. And that is where our neck and side 
back neck and sideband piece is going um, to end. And we're actually gonna end an inch from that. So we're gonna fold, this is my, the one that we cut on the fold, the neck and back, the neck, back, and side piece. Neck, back, and side, okay. So fold that in half. If you need to, iron it. If not, press it like I am. And then we're gonna line it up right sides together with the raw edges touching. But when we go to sew it, we want this to stop an inch before, about an inch. So I'm just going to put a pin there and that helps me remember, okay, you're gonna stop right here at this pin. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Line the end up with that notch. Maybe if it'll lay flat, there we go. And then about an inch away, pin that in place. And then we also have some notches on our band. You can see there's one right here. And I'm gonna line that up with my shoulder seam. So we're gonna do a little bit of stretch and fitting here when we sew it. So I just like to get things lined up and pinned and then it's ready to go for when I'm ready to serge it or sew it together. And if you don't have a serger, you can use a sewing machine for this project. Um, you just wanna use a stretch stitch or an overcast stitch or something that will stretch when your fabric stretches so that the threads won't break. Because um, if you use a straight stitch, it will just break when your shirt stretches like over your head. So once that is all lined up, I'm gonna take it over to the serger and I'll show you how I'm going to serge on here and then off at the end over on this side. So I'm gonna go to one end of my neck band and go to the spot where um, I want to start the serging. And there's, there was that pin there, I just took it out. So I'm just going to slide my piece under my presser foot and it helps, it does help if you raise your presser foot for a second and slide it under. Now you can see I still have about an inch sticking out back here. Let me move my hand, put this down. So back here I have about an inch sticking out so that it's gonna start at an inch in and then I can just stretch the band to fit and I'll line up my raw edges and sew around this, the neck side and the neck back. So I'm gonna stretch from that point that I pinned to my shoulder notch right here. And then once I get to the other side, to that pin where I want to stop, I'm just going to go and go right off at that pin. I mean, I'll take the pin out before so I don't hurt my knife or chop my pin in half because it's a thin one. But so I'm just going to hold that there to kind of give me an idea. It doesn't have to be exactly an inch. It's okay if it's not. We just want to leave that space to sew the other piece on. So now I'm gonna start going off the edge and have it go back. Okay, and I probably could have left even more than that. That's not very much, but that'll work just fine. So I have my neck band, or at least the back one, sewn into my back and side pieces. And I am gonna go iron it just like I did um, that front middle piece. With that, back and side neck band all ready to go. We're gonna take our center piece right here and I'm gonna take one of my side pieces. We're gonna do this to both side pieces, so just pick a side to start with. My fabric keeps curling, so I keep having to unravel it a little bit, but I'm gonna take my side piece and the top right here, each side, each corner, is gonna match up with our notch that we just stitched an inch from. So I'm gonna lay those right sides together because this one will match up with this side. Line that top right up, pin it in place, and then I'm gonna take it over to the serger and serge it in place and do this to both sides. Okay. 
Like before, I'm gonna lift my presser foot and slide this under so it just starts right here. I'm not catching this part right now. Um, we'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna line this up. Once I have that center piece sewn into my side pieces, now we're gonna finish off our neckband. And you'll see there's like this one inch opening that we left. We're gonna take that back neckband piece and so it's gonna curl like this if you lay it how you sewed it. It's gonna lay like this. I'm gonna take those, line up that raw edge, and take it over to my sewing machine and sew it like this. But one thing that you wanna do is stretch it a little bit so that it comes over this front neckband piece, just a little bit, just enough that you won't see that raw edge. So I'm gonna pin it right there so I know to sew it, or so I can hold it in place so it sews that far. And then I'll stretch this when I sew it and fold it like this. So make sure you're not cutting this center piece when you sew it, but you're gonna sew it like this and serge it that way. And I'll do the same thing on this side. So it's a little confusing at first, but if you fold it like that, this is my front piece. This is the piece that we just sewed. And I'm just gonna line up my raw edges right here, stretching a little bit so it just comes down past that front neck band. Just stretch it a little bit. And sometimes if it's really stretchy, I'll stretch it all the way to this edge right here so it all lines up. Um, this fabric is a little stiffer, so I'm not gonna do that. But so then when I sew it, I'll just stretch that a little bit. And I feel like it makes it so this will lay flat on your chest and not like bubble up. Um, I feel like it just making it stretch a little bit really pulls it tight. So I'm gonna take it over and we'll, I'll show you how I'm gonna sew those on. So I've lifted my presser foot and I'm just gonna slide under. I'm gonna overlap where I've already stitched or surged. Oh, my needles are down. Let's go. There we go. So they're not. Then lower my presser foot. Oops. And I'm going to keep that pin in there until the last possible second. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I don't surge over it. Okay. So make sure everything is lined up. Maybe if I hold my finger there, it'll be good. And then I just surge. This is where I need one of those stilettos. I have one. I just need to get it. <laughs> if you haven't seen those, they're really nice. Okay. So I'm just surging past that a little bit. And then I'll just surge off. And I like to tie off my threads. Um, just trim this a little bit. And then kind of take those apart and tie them off. Whoops. So a knot this and tie it off. So you can kind of see it did overlap. Oh, here we go, sorry. So you can kind of see it did overlap a little bit right there. And one thing that I like to do as well is with a straight stitch, just come in here or even hand stitching, come in here and stitch this. What we're gonna do some top stitching to finish this off, to finish off those edges. So, and I just think it looks really nice, especially with the um, princess seams on this. So now I'm going to do my other side, lift that up, make sure I'm not getting anything else, hold this in place, stretch it a little bit, and don't just stretch the neckband, don't stretch the actual shirt, and we'll start some. And just take your time. There's no rush. Go. Okay, and then we'll sew off and trim. So you can see that one. Oh, there we go. 
so we can see right here how it overlapped. See how it just kind of is flopping there now? That's why I like to stitch that down. And if this fabric is stretchy enough and I bring it down here, then I just sew it in this seam right here. But this fabric is not that stretchy. It has enough stretch to fit comfortably, but it's kind of a tighter stretch. So like I said, I just do a little top stitching right along here, or you can hand stitch it if you don't want it to be seen. Um, kind of just locks that in place. And I, I think it looks okay. I think it looks good. So I'm gonna do it on this one. And line it up. I feel like putting pins in it really doesn't help me in this instance because it's so small, but you can try. And I'll just do a few stitches and then back stitch and go over it. Like, so that was like three, um, three times. Kind of just a little lock in place. And then trim my threads, beautiful. And because it's this knit fabric, it's not going to fray, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, we got our thread stuck. Okay, and then I'll do the other side. And then while I'm over here at my sewing machine, I am going to do some top stitching, and that's just going to help keep our seam allowance down all the way around. You don't have to do this step. I think it just makes it look really nice and kind of gives it a nice finish. So I'm going to start um, at the bottom of the center front piece on one of those princess seams and I'm just surging, well, I'm not surging, I'm straight stitching the surging down um, towards the center. So this is where my center seam will be. This is one of those princess seams and I'm just, I have that iron to the side and I'm stitching it down. And I'm just gonna go all the way around the neck and to the other side. Now one thing I like to do after I've top stitched, cause sometimes it makes it look a little wonky or wavy like this. I like to give it a good steam iron and I feel like it just really helps to set those stitches and make this look a lot nicer and lay nicer. And then one other place that I like to do some top stitching is this front center piece, um, just top stitching that raw edge in place. So it'll just go from this side to this side and I'll just do like a little tiny back stitch to keep those threads in place. Now your neckline should be beautiful and all finished and now we're just ready to add our sleeves in. So we're gonna open this back up and make sure you're matching up the sleeve with the right notches so like the double notch means it's the back of the shirt it's the back of the sleeve so we'll check out this one is for this side and this one actually i just did that wrong okay so right sides together there's a center notch and then a front notch double notch for the back, and then I match up the sides. So now I'm back over at the serger. I'm not using my sewing machine anymore, and I'm just gonna sew in the round of those sleeves. And I just pinned those spots that I mentioned, and then I stretch the sleeve um, when I go from each spot. And that just kind of eases the sleeve in and helps it to sit and fit just right. Um, I'm doing like the regular sleeve. I know there's also a puff sleeve that you gather. Um, I did not choose to do that. I'm not a huge fan of puff sleeves. So I think this one will look cute on me. Once those sleeves are set in, I'm just gonna stay over here at my serger and I'm putting right sides together so this is the inside of the shirt with my right sides together and I'm lining up those side seams. 
and I'm going from the inside of my sleeve. So here's the end of my sleeve where I will start and then I'm going down through here. You can make sure that point matches up and then there's a notch right here. So if you want to, you can pin. I don't love pinning most of the time, so I just kind of go for it. But it is nice because then like your notches right here and every, all your seams will line up. So I like I do like to line up the um, the armpit seam right here and then that notch and it kind of just keeps everything in place for you to start surging. So I'm going to surge each um, side seam. Okay, once you're done with your side seams, I like to try mine on and see how it looks. I'm loving it. I'm tempted to just stop right there, but let's finish off our arm seams and our bottom hem. And then it will look actually finished and complete. Um, so I, yeah, I like to try it on and see how I like the sleeve length, which I'm actually really happy about it. It's kind of like an elbow length instead of really short sleeves. So I'll probably just turn that under, got some thread on there, yeah, turn it under and top stitch it. It's also not tight on my arm. You can kind of see it's not like stretchy in a ton. Um, my arm, it's not gonna stretch it to put my arm through. So I'm not worried about breaking the seam. So I'll probably do a straight stitch for my, um, for my hemming. I keep calling it a seam, but it's the hemming of the sleeves. Um, so I'll probably do a straight stitch and just turn it up a little bit because I like that length. If you wanna do it a little shorter, go ahead um, and finish it off however you like. And then also the hemming of it, I really like, I did add like an inch to this and I really like this. I could tuck it in or I could just leave it. Um, it's really nice. So I'll probably do the same thing. I'll just turn it under probably about a half an inch and do a straight stitch all the way around. And that's how I'm going to finish off my shirt. So go do that on my sewing machine and see you back here. Hey guys, and then once you've got those sleeves hemmed, the bottom hemmed, you're all done with your t-shirt that has a square neckline, unless you did the sweetheart neckline. I might have to do that on my next one. Um, I just really love this. I think it's like an updated t-shirt look. It's super comfy, cozy, and so many cute options and fabrics. Um, I just, I love it. And I love using my Baby Lock Vibrant, my serger for this. Um, it just worked so great and it holds up so well. And I'm just, again, another project in the books, a success. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure also to subscribe so that you can see our next tips, tricks, and tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.